Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Persona 5 Royal. Today, the only person available to hang out with that's not maxed out is Mishima. So let's go over to Mishima and hang out with him. Uh, I believe he's at like rank 7 or something, right? Right? He's close to max. I don't know if we're going to be able to max him out because I'm not sure how many requests we actually have to do for that. But anyways, Mishima, what's up, dog? So did you take the... you did that request? Yes, I did. Oh, no, I was hoping we could talk about uh, Aki Yamakun today. Are you free? Sure. Let's talk at the diner, then. <laughs> We're going all the way back to Shibuya? <sighs> so you remember those guys who beat up Aki Yamakun? Well, it turns out they really were dangerous. I looked them up and found some seriously scary info. Apparently, they're part of a gang that have, that's involved in extortion stuff like that all the time. I wish I had known that going in. One slipped the tongue in that act I pulled, and I would have been dead. Uh, yep, dead as a doornail. <laughs> you showed real courage. I'm glad you're still alive. I'm glad you're still alive. Yeah. And me too. Now I really want to know the true joy of life. Honestly, though, you're amazing. You weren't afraid in the slightest. Maybe it's only natural after the nightmares you've been through? Uh, yo, Mishima. Hey. Hey there. Whoa, it is a real Mishima. Dude, right? Nobody else can be this boring. Hey, you figured out what you're gonna do after high school? It's just... Uh, not yet. How about the military? Nobody's ever noticed a zero like you stealthing around. <laughs> True! I bet you can sneak in there, sneak in anywhere, huh? You'd be a Japan's ultimate weapon. Shut up! A Kiyama-kun? I know something wrong? Ah, not exactly. Come on, let's just forget about him. It's no fun messing with Mishima anymore. What do you mean, no fun? You're always the one screwing with him the most. I don't know, I guess I just get tired of it. Hey, about before, I've been thinking, well, I should probably thank you. Uh, something happened with you do? You know, you have been acting weird, Lady Ak Akiyama. Don't think I haven't noticed all of them bruises you've got. I... Uh, no, no. Uh, before, I don't really know what you're talking about. Mishima? My bad, guess it was someone else. You changed, though. Huh? Yo, glasses. I always see you two together. You been coaching him? Something like that. Huh, that's so. Kinda jealous. Anyway, see you later! Wait, wait up! Akiyama! Mishima, get the bag. <laughs> it looks like Akiyama is gonna be just fine. He's a pretty strong old guy. No. Maybe. Him, his friends, I don't know. Him, after what he went through, maybe. His friends? You get those two uh, gang members on, like, dial? You can change their hearts the hard way. And I really have changed, huh? Do you think maybe now I'm starting to be like a fan of thief? Right. No. I'm gonna work even harder now, now now to make up, make sure I live through your legacy. You're not my legacy. But okay. Oh, we were rank 8! Oh! We're one more away from maxing you out. I don't know if we're going to be able to max you out, but that's kind of surprising to me. You know, I always used to think I couldn't amount to anything, but I somehow managed to step up and help Akiyama-kun with those thugs. It made me realize there really are things I could do to save people. Yeah, less dangerous things, too. That's why I started writing a documentary on the Phantom Thieves. The research I did on that game Akiyama-kun was wrapped up in was actually what pushed me to do it. And now I'm basically putting together a massive blog of all your activities from the fan site. Uh, don't use our real names. No. Oh, don't worry, I'm coming up with aliases for you all. If you guys have code names you use, those will work too. All right. At any rate, we should celebrate today. My treat! Screw the fountain drinks, let's go straight for the fancy fruit juice. It's three times the price, so it's gotta be three times better. Uh, you know what? Since you're paying, I'm feeling like steak. But I only have so much money. If you want to order anything else, it'll come out of your own pocket, okay? <laughs> anyway, let's party until we have to go catch the last train. <laughs> Woo! See you later. Alright, catch you later, alligator. In a wild crocodile? Woo, what is up? You still rocking at the night, no chan Uh, sorry, I don't know the right thing to say after coming home from a party. We didn't party. But that was fun, right? I'd never stayed out that late at a diner before. You think it's the power of that fancy fruit juice? I mean, it did cost three times the usual price. Okay, I'll stop joking around. 
I think I'm really just happy to hear that one comment for Akiyama-kun. You heard what he said about me, but do you really think part of me has changed? Uh, the sparkle in your eyes! Wait, really? You mean, I actually look confident now? Gosh, man, you're gonna make me blush, but thanks! The documentary I mentioned, uh, starting today, it's gonna start. I'm gonna start writing, uh, writing it seriously. Once it's finished, I want you to be the first one to read the script. It's our promise, a vow between men, okay? See ya! Okay, but like... Don't we need to... I don't know, do more as Phantom Thieves to have a documentary about us? I, mean, I guess not. Hey. Oh, we get the read! Sweet! Uh, I guess we'll continue with this stuff. Why not? Hmm? A chef should act calmly in all situations. You have not seen Hell's Kitchen, I guess. Oh shit, you know what? I should go to the library and get those books for, uh, Futaba and Haru. Well, I can only get one at a time. But, I guess I can wait till I'm finished these. I don't really need them. Uh, is this a... Question. Picking up from the last time, we were talking about the French Revolution. Having executed the royalty, the revolutionaries proceeded to take the courts under their control. All who opposed the revolution were executed. However, the revolutionaries, too, were reviled as despots and executed by the public. Many people were executed during the French Revolution. The fact that this many executions were possible was actually due to one specific invention. No, Kuhn, take a look at this. Yeah! What is the this is a guillotine, a tool which is allowed for mass executions. Now, do you know who invented this instrument? Uh... <laughs> probably the guy with the, the name? Yeah! This is it. Louis the Fifteen, wasn't that the guy that, when they uh, used the guillotine on, the blade was dull? So it didn't cut through his neck completely, he got like stuck in his, uh, like his spinal column, or the hell that thing is part of the back of your neck, and so they had like pushed down on it to get it all the way through? That's brutal. That's correct. This tool is named after him. By the way, Charles Henry Sensen, the famous executioner, it said that he killed over 2,000, uh, killed 2,000, uh, 2,800 people with the, the advent of the guillotine. And it may look cruel, but it delivered a swift, painful, painless execution regardless of one's social status. Unless I was, it was what I was just talking about. It wouldn't be exaggerated to say that this embodied the French spirit of equality. And we need just guts. We just need guts. We don't need knowledge. We don't even need charm anymore. Revolution is sometimes a bloody thing. Revolutionaries that rose up for freedom became despots themselves. It's a common tale. Our social reform doesn't hurt anybody in the real world. It's a blood bloodless revolution. Eh. Yeah, I guess. Unless we screw up. Who wants the hangouts? Tavas, hard to stay calm, a mission from Ico. I mean... As much as I would like to finish off Shima, I feel like party members come first. Like, even though I didn't complete Sheena in the original, we have three more for- Oh, you're at rank 7, so we got three more for you. Yeah, so even though we didn't complete Sheena in the original, uh, Persona 5, I still think, like... Frickin' Utaba, Haru, and Makoto are gonna come first. And Makoto wants to hang out today, so we're gonna hang out with Makoto. Get her up to rank 8? Was it? Yeah, she's at rank 7. You are gonna rank up, right? Yeah, okay. That's fine. Alright, let's talk to Makoto. Haru just wants to go to Mementos from the looks of it. Aiko contacted me. She said she wants to talk. I've held off on giving her a solid response yet. Then when I try to ask for more details, she simply says she wants to talk about it in person. If it's okay with you, do you think we could go see her together? Yeah? Thank you! It'd be greatly reassuring to have you with me, Alex. Aiko and I will be meeting at the Big Bang Burger. I'm the champion there! I'll go ahead and see you there! I'm gonna press you all while I'm eating a giant damn burger. Is something the matter? So what did you want to talk about? Um, well, I was wondering if you could, like, maybe lend me some cash? 
What? There's nothing real major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though, honest, please? Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Uh-huh. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it. But he needs help. How's He's lying to you, Aiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my is not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even called me a princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know. He says it's because I'm special. Yo, he, like, says that to, like, every girl. Uh, so he calls you his special princess. What do you think, Alex Kuhn? Yeah, exactly! He says that to all the girls! Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives money to him is princess. That's why he can never get their, that's why he can never get his their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. <sighs> but did you ask anyone at the, his club about the broken bottle? Well, uh, no. He told me not to talk to him about it though. He's too proud to have me crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only one I can trust. All my friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exam than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents would say if they try to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of lore. He already got me a job. There's nothing weird, though. I'm just serving drinks at a bar to help him pay off the broken bottle. Jesus Christ, Iko. He said I'm the number one, uh, I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna go to college. Iko! <sighs> You can't just do what he says! He's trying to deceive you! A smart brother like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just gonna go to a good college, get a fancy co work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's gonna be totally boring. I mean, is it that total is that seriously how you wanna live? I'm I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay as far away from me as you can. So you're not gonna help me? Just forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me on on dates after work. I can wait! I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Sukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking me if, my, if me and my sister live alone and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Aiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Sukasa's just so nice that he's worried about my friends. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. Huh. You have the grades to look a cool boyfriend? Thanks. You seriously want more? So is all I have. You can't take him from me. Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. You're right. Just yeah, right. Just keep your hands off. I'll never forgive you if you if you stole him away, Makoto. <sighs> is all she has, huh? You know, I think she's actually the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are looking out for. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Actually... Aiko's family is quite well off. Her wealthy, talented younger brother seems the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Sakasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high school for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. Or to work at, like, a place serving drinks and going out on dates with, like, weird, creepy old dudes. She needs to realize that. We're gonna... You're gonna help, right? Uh, yeah? Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, it's reassuring to hear you say that. I guess blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite of me. <sighs> but I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternatives, alternatives viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. You, I want to show her that just like you did for me. Sure. We got two more for you, and then we can work on Futaba, and then we can All work right. on Haru, and then Shinra, Shinya, it's not Shinra, that's different, anywhere in between. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I never, I'll never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. <sighs> what is the right way to live? That's different for everyone. At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible, horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do that. As long as you're not hurting people, see you, later. you know, how you choose to live is your own choice. Should I say, as long as you're not hurting any living being, right? How you live is your own uh, choice. You're back. Now, yeah, it does come to a head sometimes. I guess I'll do the crossword. I don't really care about the TV. What day is it? It's Thursday. 
Who wants to hang out? Oh yeah? I guess we can hang out with Oh yeah. Do I even have a devil persona? Uh, persona, there we go. <sighs> no, I'll have to go and get one of those. For a crossword, let's come here and just check it out. Let's see. Absorbs the night most absorbs the most light. Black? Uh B L A C K. Yeah, it's on there. That's easy. This color appears in a number of expressions and metaphors with negative connotations, such as the blacklist, black market, and black sheep. Numerous country slags also feature black, but there are many meanings behind the color, including battles, defeat of one enemies, and even the past, uh, even the past in general. Oh. And it makes up the majority of my clothes. Nice. Also, isn't black technically not a color? Isn't that isn't that some argument somewhere that it's actually just the absence of? color or something like that. Anyways, I'm gonna go pick up a devil persona. Alright, I picked up Lilium. Lilum. Let's go ahead and hang out with Oya. Hey! So you came, fan of Thieves Believer? I wouldn't I wonder what's next. Now that magic case is over, that's been over for over a month now. But how the heck would you know, right? Right? Have you heard of any good gossip? My deadline's coming up and I'm all out of material. Sit down, I'll treat ya. Woo. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna hang out with Oya. She's the only one that wants to hang out. For real? From the looks of it, you must have good info, huh? Give me the details about the Kamashita incident. I'm gonna go walk around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. I see. I see a bulletin board, huh? So the calling card they used for Kamashita was different. Now that's a scoop. That kind of information usually doesn't see the light of day. You have any photos or videos of it? Uh, Mishima might? <laughs> nice! You have some great connections. <laughs> Shuckle. But seriously, the Phantom Hodges of Thieves, uh, the Phantom Thieves of Heart, uh, they sound like kids on a playground. Eh, not that far off. Not Valiant Fighter Fighters, uh, Fire, no, Valiant Fighters, not Firefighters for Society. I mean, they act like all high and muddy, but I'm not sure they are really worth very much in the end. Uh, worth? Yep. What? You don't think they're really virtuous, do you? In my line of work, there's no clearer sign of deception than goodwill. No clearer sign. And you're not wrong, sometimes. You know, like the shady action of a charitable organization or the actual criteria of a peace prize? Same goes for the Phantom Thieves. You just have to learn to take some things with a grain of salt. Come on, don't be such a downer. Why, it's true. There you go again. You used to be so positive. Ugh. Oh, shut it. I don't care about the past. Give me some sushi. We're all out. You have sushi here normally, Lala-chan? Hey, why don't you go back to covering politics? No can do. I've been permanently re reassigned to the, to the culture and entertainment department. Uh, what a crappy company. I mean, it's already been over a year since the incident. Oh, by the incident, I mean... Don't say another word. That has nothing to do with my source. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, damn it! I'm already sobering up. Give me a real refill, Lala-chan! Gee, you're such a child sometimes. Hey, you want a drink? You can have some of mine if you want. Ahem. Oh, oh uh, that's some scowl you got. Anyways, why are you coming to a bar if you can't even drink alcohol? Uh, I like the atmosphere. It's for the article. Tell me about that incident. Uh... The article? <laughs> That's right! You're a true believer in the Phantom Thieves. Well, at least I, no I, know I now know you're gonna be pretty useful. That's not all that... I'm not all that interested in the Phantom Thieves myself, but keep the info coming, alright? Cool. Hey, Lala-chan. We should have, like, a confidant together. Alright. What's taking so long, Lala-chan? I see. Where's where's my drink? Do they call you Escargot because you move as slow as a snail? We're all out of booze. A certain slosh reporter drank it all. Can't you just go buy more? I'll wait for you forever. <laughs> just kidding. 
Also, what is all that booze behind you? I'm able to peek oh yeah's interest with the story of the fan thieves. I feel like my charm is actually already maxed out, so this means nothing. Whoa. Well then. <laughs> yeah, well then. See you later. God, those damn blacked out faces are actually horrifying. Do we have an obligation the rest of the week? I mean, that's kind of our goal. But meh. Who wants to hang out? This is the Triple Seven Company. All right, that's that's great. Well, shit. Really? Not even Futaba? Well, shenanigans. All right, that's fine. Uh, I was told you can actually play darts during the day. I had no idea, so I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna save first, just in case I mess this up. Oh, yeah, I have a dart set? Yes. When did I buy this? Oh, that was one of the things where I was like, I have the money, so I may as well buy this, huh? Huh, okay. Uh, we're gonna play darts with Haru. Hopefully, Makoto wants to play after this, because she's still at rank 1 well as well. Billiards is another thing I actually considered, because we have, like, one more rank to do that, right? What do you think? Um, Alex, would you mind playing with me? I'd appreciate it if you could show me what to do. Has the rules? Yes, 301. Sure. All right. Good luck. This is, the important thing is to have fun. I mean, you're right. But I'm going to kick your ass. I mean, we're actually playing together, so I can't actually do that. Uh, so we want to get triple here, right? Fudge off, Tony. Yeah, I am that good. Damn it! Yeah, I'm aware that's not good. Switch. Haru! Triple 20s! Do it! High five? My High friend. five! We're gonna. How do you even play darts? I know you're available for selection. 16's not bad. Yo, triple 15! Tri okay, triple 4 is not that great, Haru. So if I get triple 20s, then you can finish it off next time. Give it your all. Let's come over here. You can always go for this too, right? Because that's that's 50 points, right? I get two of those and get a 20. Then she just has to get eight. Superb. It is superb. Oh. And then we can come up here and just get like a 20. There you go. Haru, you got got to get eight. It's just eight. That's all you got to do. So this is my last turn. I can do this. My turn now. This is Look at our score. We can finish. How should I throw? Uh, with elegance. Like you're swinging an axe. Wait. Wait, does it have anything to do with darts? Oh, shit. You have failed me, Haru. Okay, to be fair, I failed you. But you know what? Fine, that's fine. Guess what? Guess I'll just reset. I know. How should you throw? Uh, have fun with it? Thank you. That's right. I feel kind of excited now. Okay. I was going to say with elegance, but you mentioned fun before. Yo, Haru. Oh, look! Zero points! Wow, I feel so accomplished! We're the greatest pair ever, maybe? Yeah? I think I did yeah, no, I agree. I have a favorite. Yes, you could, Makoto! 
Let's do it. Now Makoto only needs to get four points. That's that's easy. Now she mentioned calm before. So I'm gonna high five. Exactly. And then you're gonna be like, oh, we could finish it right here. I have to remember the simulations. Uh what simulations take take a deep breath, just take it easy. Take a deep breath. I see. Alright, controlled breathing. Yes, I feel much calmer. Yes! Get a four! Alright, great. Got a one for the double two as well, but, you know, no need to get fancy. Incredible. Zero points! We did it! We make an excellent pair, don't we? I see the positive effects of synergy between two people yield unexpectedly strong results. So now that's all that's left, I think, is Ma Mar Margana? And Futaba didn't have a rank. Huh, that was some crazy skill! Give me guts. Oh, it's proficiency. Boo. That was so much fun. Ooh, points. That should do it for now. All right. The next time we're gonna play billiards, or right, then. I guess do darts with Morgana. You know how it's gonna be possible. You're a goddamn cat. Ah, uh, you're back. I am back. Who wants to hang out? Oh yeah, bought a dart set online. So I bought a dart set online, so, but Sajiro got mad at me for throwing them in the house. <laughs> Seems like this whole national acclaim thing has got me got us on edge. So let's chill a little. What do you want to do? Oh. I mean, there's no reason for her to play darts. Oh, but... Wow, I feel oh, bad. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. Because I wasn't going to play darts, but she bought a dart set. Oh, god damn it. Fine, we're going to go play darts with Taba. What do you want to do? Cool, I'll see if anyone else wants a party. We can head over first. I guess you'll, we'll, you'll see who responded when we get there. This is a waste of a night, Kronos. I know, but I feel bad. She bought a dart set. Alright, and I was never gonna actually play darts with her because she doesn't get a rank. Hey. Okay, then let's begin our team. It's the same people except hey, for hey. Utaba. Alright, Alex, let's play! The gamer in me is ready to go! Yes, I know. 301. Hopefully Morgana's like, yeah, let's play after this. I'm okay. Don't worry. Where there's a will, there's a way. Will, there's a way. Okay. Sweater that's that's ready. fine. Jesus Christ, Futaba. <laughs> you actually did really good. I mean those are low digits on the but they're triples. <laughs> I mean I guess that would make sense, right? All warmed up now. Uh, you gotta go swoosh and then bam! Okay. Your turn now. Now I gotta like focus on not getting like good points. Uh, we'll go with 20. We got 17 left, so let's go with... 10? And then... 2. Yes. Now! She mentioned Will, there's a way, so something involving that. My last round. Things are getting interesting, as they say. Leave it to me. It's my chance uh, to finish it. Am I actually getting nervous? Uh. The target is a pumpkin. What the fuck does that mean, Alex? This is real. Want to switch? Okay. I feel like. Is it gonna be the target as a pumpkin because it's so goddamn random and dumb? And she has red hair? It's gonna be the target as a pumpkin, isn't it? Huh? You make what? it sound so simple. Besides, it looks more like a pizza. No. Come on, it's five points! Really? 
Really, Futaba? You go with three ones, or two ones, and then you hit a 19? All right, so, uh, it's not pumpkin. Wanna switch doesn't sound right. This is real? I see. This is feeling of tension, it's totally real. Yes, I'm gonna clutch it out. All right. Now this is probably a complete waste of time, unless Morgana wants to actually do this next. But I felt bad because she doesn't, like she bought a, di a dart set and I wasn't ever gonna bring her anyways. I'm a sucker, all right? Oh. Zero points, none can be, uh, none can best us. We charge through the battlefield together. I'll toast you with a soda later, all right? Very well. All right, no, I'm calling it a day. I see. So all that's Good. left is Morgana. Now there should be additional play times to play darts in the future. That was time well spent. No, it wasn't, to be quite honest. But Vutab is happy, and I feel good about that. See you later. Goodbye. Yeah, so the only one that doesn't have a good darts or good uh, baton pass now is Morgana. Which sucks, but to be fair, like, I wasn't gonna use Morgana that much until, like, way in the future, anyways. Why do you look so evil there, Futaba? I like it. But yeah, we, we're good to go. All right, cool. We should work on technical rating at some point, though. Uh, it's hard to stay calm. No training, saving, Aiko. So, sorry, Shinya, but we're gonna go hang out with Makoto as much as I want to rank you up. Let's come over to here to saving Aiko. So I've been thinking about all the different ways I could save Aiko, but the best method would be getting evidence of Tsukasa's misconduct. That's the conclusion I keep coming to. I'm thinking of asking around the red light district. If it's okay with you, do you think you could help me out? I mean, yeah. It'd be kind of dangerous for you to go around doing that by yourself. Hell, it'd be dangerous for us going together. Thank you. I'm sure this will go well if we do it together. Aiko's working today, too. Once we get our evidence, I'm going to go persuade her myself. Well then, let's meet up in Shijuku. stories online about horrible hosts like Sukasa all the time. Wait, are we at your max? Why are you voice? However, we'll need solid proof of what he's doing if we're going to convince Eiko. Eiko? Eiko? Okay. I believe some of the promoters around here may know something. Uh, yeah? As my father always said, finding evidence takes serious legwork. Oh, you actually want me to... Sure. Hi. Give me evidence. What do you want? You don't, we don't let couples come in together. I'm looking for someone. Tch, you want to sabotage our business? I'm glad. I'll gladly talk some more out of uh, talk more out back if you want. Hey. Uh, we should get out of here. You're welcome to try, actually, buddy. Hi. Hey, man. I got a great club for you. We even that couples in. Wait. Are you high schoolers? Uh, is that what we look like? Huh. Kind of joke. You're exactly the kind of person we like. Come right in this way. Uh, I'm looking for a host. A host? Sorry, but I never vote for a host club. You into that kind of stuff, or is this some kind of prank? Come on. I can't talk for you to ever. You understand? I take it he doesn't know anything. We should try to look elsewhere. Uh, I'm ask my fortune teller friend. Hi. Huh, how about you come into our club and we show you a good time? You have money, though. You seem like a poor young kid. You'd be wrong. I'm rich. You know what, Sukasa? Sukasa, you bastard. You a friend of his? I'm not. You're using the, he's using the sake bottle trick? Let me make it clear. Get the girl out of here. Sukasa's known for wrecking lives. He breaks the sake bottle, then ends up selling the girls to pay it back. Same thing happened to one of my friends, damn it. We have proof now. I guess, yeah. It's almost time for Eiko's shift to end. Let's wait for her in front of the shop. What do you want? Hey. Eiko, your boyfriend's an infamous is infamous around here for tricking girls into debt and then forcing them to sell themselves. Moreover, he's probably doing it in conjunction with a criminal gang. You need to get out of there. You seriously came all this way here to tell me that? Uh, get out of here, Makoto. I've had enough of your lying bullshit. 
have testimony from one of the promoters in the area. You're not the first girl Sukasa has lied about the broken bo uh, sake bottle. He doesn't ask for much at first, but the interest piles up. Eventually, he'll ask you to sell your body for money. Please reconsider this relationship. Shut it! I already had a date planned with him for today. We're gonna stop by his club, so stay out of my way! Yo, did I make you wait, babe? I came a little late after seeing your text, but I guess you're already here. Yo, I know these guys. You wanna hop on over to my club with us? It's gonna be a total blast! They were saying some bad stuff about you, honey. Like how you get girls into debt and then force them to sell themselves? They're lying to you. They're lying to me, right? Huh? You believe that crap? Listen to me, nothing like that's happened here. I'd never lie to you, princess. Hmm. It's always princess with you. Why don't you ever call her by her real name, Sukasa? Or are there too many princesses in your life to remember? Sukasa? <laughs> what are you freaking out about? You just texted me, right? I could never forget you, Makoto. I see. I knew it. I'm the one you texted. I'll be five minutes late today, baby. I even added tons of emoji at the end to make sure it seemed like Aiko. Aiko. Admit it, every girl you get money from is your princess, right? Don't you see, Aiko? This is how you, who your boyfriend really is. But you tricked him! What would you know about love? Because is all I have! Just leave me alone, bitch! Yeah! Slap of justice! What? <laughs> Wake up! You already know the truth. You just don't want to believe it. Stop lying to yourself. But Tsukasa is the only one who cares about me. Nobody ever asks me about my day or how work is going. Nobody ever treats me like I'm special. A perfect girl who lives up to everyone's expectations could never know how I feel. Stop trying to feed me your honor bull student bullshit. This has nothing to do with me being an honest student. I just can't rest knowing there's such an evil in the world. And I sh damn sure won't keep, my, uh, keep quiet while my friend has her life ruined. As for you, apologize to Aiko, and stay away from her from now on. <laughs> you're really starting to annoy me with this shit, you bitch. Don't think I'll go easy because you're a chick. I'm gonna teach you a lesson you won't forget. I dare you! Uh, yeah, you get away from her? What was that, you bastard? I come a long way line from uh, I come from a long line of police officers. If you really want to start something, be my guest. What? Damn it, I'll remember this. He wasn't so tough after all. Uh, this sucks. Aiko! Aiko, whatever the fuck your name is. Oh, did you see that? Was that girl fighting with a host? That's really going. They were really going at it. You will notice what happened. Um. Follow me? You're right. Right, staying here now is only going to cause us more trouble. Aiko. <sighs> Why are we running so slowly? <laughs> that was weird. We are running in slow motion. Oh, we're in, <sighs> we're in Lala's place. Can't believe I actually hit one of my friends. Uh, it looked like it hurt. That was the right move. You really- Yeah, you know what? That was the right move. I see. Really? I hope so. You know, I have a bad habit of acting in the moment. I can't help but get swept up, swept up in emotion. Oh, you're human. Congratulations. That's why I always have to take extra care to keep myself composed. My father was the same way. That's not the proper way to act, though. There's no telling what would happen if you hadn't stepped in. Um... That aside, the place is... This place is interesting. How did you ever find somewhere like this? You know so much. A regular here? The, the, it's probably me. I'm a regular here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm. You come here often. It's hard to believe you're really a high schooler. You have so much more life experience than me. Honestly, spending time with you and getting the echo has given me a great deal of th to think about. There's so much you can miss by living with your head buried between the pages of a book. I thought I knew how the world worked, but the more I spent with time with you guys, the more I realized how naive I was. But... See, now there are some things I need other people to teach me. Do you remember how Eiko said I would flunk a test about love? Well, uh, I don't know how to study that subject. 
What should I do, Alex? Hmm. Can't learn about romance by myself. Hint, hint. I'll be your study partner. <laughs> You'll find someone someday. That would make things awkward. Dots! Um, I'm not exactly the most well-versed in these manners, so allow me to confirm this. Dots? Dots. Do you, uh, like me? Yeah. Oh. You really mean it, alright? Well then, you see... if I'm... Um, if it's alright with you, let's start dating for real. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I look forward to, um, growing our relationship, um, together. Whoa. I guess we should say real relationship because we were faking being in a relationship this entire time. All right. There's no turning back now. I mean, there could be if you gave him the option to like dump them, but still, you kids have your little heart to heart yet? Are you done with your little heart to heart? <sighs> oh, sorry about that. It's rude for us to stay here so long after only ordering tea. Oh, don't worry. Just a glimpse of the fresh drama of yours is the only apology I need. It's like a nice spritz of lemon in the air. Makes me think back to when I was just a wee girl. Well, um... Right. Well, we should get going. Alright then. So one more and she's done. Then we can focus on Futaba. By the time that is, Haru is going to also be available. So maybe we'll be able to alternate between them. Maybe? I don't know. Kind of sucks because it seems like Shinya is available whenever Futaba is. And I have a bad feeling that Haru is probably going to be in the same schedule. Oh, hey, uh, are you going to talk right now? Sorry, I, I know we just saw each other. So, I think between us we managed to help Eiko see the truth. I probably never have pulled this off alone. Thanks. Thank you so much. Uh... No big deal? Honestly, you say that, but it was pretty significant to me. I don't know if, if it's something I can make you understand with words alone, but I'm glad you were there for me, with me. I'm thinking of calling Aiko once she calms down a bit, but I wanted to get a courage boost from you before I did. Yep, that helped. I think I can talk to Aiko properly now. I guess boyfriends um really can be reliable. Um, I'll call you later. Okay, bye. I am back. I didn't get a text, so that's horrifying. Iwei and Mishima. Okay, well, uh, what day is it? I'm not actually gonna get into a bunch of cut. Well, I could. I mean, Royal could have like made a bunch of cutscenes happen, right? So I don't know if there's not gonna be cutscenes, but since Mishima is available and he is. Gonna be maxed out, and I wouldn't mind the extra, uh, back up party member experience. Let's go and finish him off, I guess. And then we'll call it a day. Hey, Mishima. You're gonna be voiced for this, right? <laughs> for some reason, I can't forget what Akiyama kun said to me. By the way, I want to talk to you about something. Are you free? Yeah. I just want to relax a bit. Let's, Let's over to the park. You know, I've been thinking about what Akiyama kun said to me. How I've changed. It's Yama? Not Yama? Yama. Like a yam. Whatever. For some reason, I couldn't bring myself to run away back when I saved him. So, I was thinking why that may have been. Uh, did you find your answers? Honestly, I was pretty desperate at the time, so I don't remember much. But in the back of my head, I was thinking what you would do in that situation. Make them disappear, you're right. I mean, you put yourself in a line to stop Kamoshida, and probably other villains too. P probably Probably. Probably? Doc, have you been paying attention to anything we've been doing? So... I thought there had to be something I could do myself. Uh, but that was that was courageous. <laughs> I was only acting out of fear, though. You know, I've always wanted to change. 
I wanted to go from the dull nobody everyone messes with to the famous world-renowned hero. I'll take it somewhere in between, please. But you helped me realize something important. Heroes aren't heroes because they're famous. It's because they fight for other people. Yo, you tell that to Ryuji, because he keeps getting on about, like, the whole we're famous thing. Looking back on it, what I really wanted to change was the weak me. The me on the volleyball team who let wrongdoing go unpunished, even though I knew it was unjust. The cowardly me who looked the other way when people I knew were in need of help. Tell me the truth. I only changed because you stole my heart. No, not yet. Uh, nobody stole your heart. You changed yourself. Huh? So the Phantom Thieves didn't make me have a change of heart? No, we talked to your shadows. That probably had an effect, though. Really? Huh. But you know what? It's still thanks to you that I was able to... I mean, you're right. Because if we didn't talk to your shadow, eventually it probably would have come to a point where you start to get disordered, disordered feelings and maybe even doing some bad stuff. Like having us target the boyfriend of an idol. That was kind of messed up. All this time, I've been looking up to the Phantom Thieves, pretending to be a collaborator. And now, I'm finally able to stop pretending. I mean, dog, you actually have given us good requests that help people, so you weren't really uh, pretending. I mean, the one with the cheating gamer, that's like the only one that I have a problem with so far, because that doesn't really seem... It's screwed up to cheat on, like, online video games, and the fact that you're just an asshole ruining people's experience. That's it. But, here's the thing. It pales in comparison in when comparing it to, like, stalkers, uh, obsessive, like, freaking parents that control their kids' lives, abusive relationships, animal abuse, like, potential sexual assault things. Yeah, it's like... Nowhere near! It's not even a drop in, like the puddle of all the messed up thing is kind of like hey maybe he should be banned from playing this game that's it that's it it's not like i don't think we should go into like an alternate dimension and fight a demon over it truth be told i had given up i accepted that i was a zero that my existence was meaningless but i've learned i may not be able to change the world but i can change myself whoa whether I sulk about my inability to do anything, or hold my head high and look to the future, my perception shapes the boundaries of my world. It all comes down to what's inside my heart. I might still mess up every so often, but as long as you're here, I'll be able to stand up again. Nah, that's the last time we're hanging out, dog. So, I may not be the best person around, and you can feel free to rely on me at least sometimes. And no matter what the world says, I'll be rooting for you, just like you were for me. Feel a strong bond with Mishima. I am that. Go us. That thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the moon, granting thee infinite power. See, now Mishima should have a magical girl transformation. He's he's the Moon Arcana. Allows backup members to earn the same experience as current party members. All Woo. Right. All right. Kinda wish that was like an earlier one to be quite honest, but you know that's what? fine. I'm going to find you an awesome request. You do that, dog. That's all I can really do for you right now. But I'm working on that documentary too. I even plan on making it into a book someday. I hope you make millions off of it so I can sue you for royalties. I bet anyone who reads about the Phantom Thieves would find the hidden courage within themselves. I guess? Maybe that means I can use that book to change people's hearts. Uh, maybe. Uh, make it a bestseller. Alright, I'm on it. Oh, but before that... I'm hungry. Come on, let's <laughs> grab a bite to eat on the way home. I mean, fair enough. Maybe a buffet? Wait, no. We should save that for after I get all my book royalties. Yeah, that's smart, actually. <laughs> you better be looking forward to it. Oh, I am. Oh, God. <sighs> Who's texting me at this hour? 
How are you free tomorrow? Why, yes, Utaba, perfect! You were cordially invited to go on a limited edition Feather Hunt, uh, Featherman figures. Wait, what? You were cordially invited to go look for look at limited edition Featherman figures with me and Nerd Out. Let us ride to Nakano. We shall sally forth into the realm of true figurine geekdom. Uh, I guess. Do I want to do that? That's just like a hangout, right? That's not anything... Like, we're not gonna... Rank up with her if we do this, yeah? We'll get something for it, I think, right? Probably like a Featherman figurine for the shelf over there. Um... I'm gonna respond later? Because I would rather hang out with her and rank her up, to be quite honest. Hey. Uh, I'm not going to tell anyone about Mementos. God dang it. Makoto. I mean, we got to finish off Makoto, then. Yeah. We got to finish off Makoto. As much as I would like to go fe feather men hunting, we kind of we got we got to finish off Makoto, and then all that's left for the party is Morgana, who is story base, uh, and then Futaba, and then Haru when she becomes available. We'll talk about that one later. Um, yeah. And then at nighttime, now that Mishima's done, I can start focusing on Weapons Dealer and Oya. Oh yeah. And then if he's available during the days when <sighs> Yeah, when Futaba and Haru are unavailable, we can do him. Which, I don't know. So, yeah. I want to at least get Weapon Dealer's Quest before we go into Mementos. And I guess maybe Oya's? Or... I have no idea. I guess we'll worry about that next time. We're probably going to have a lot of story stuff next time as well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one want you my videos, I can check out some of the content. See if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.